We are on to stage two of our Technics RS1500. We have a little science experiment going on here and I'll explain this in just a second. Let's first look at the tape tension adjustment determines, I believe, the amount of current going to the motors and this determines how much tension is on the tape itself. So to do that, you need a seven inch reel at seven and a half inches per second. Fast forward to the middle of the reel because the voltage will change and drift as the tape load increases on one end or the other end depending on how much tape is on either reel. We're going to test the voltages at two points. This first point is the IS measurement. It should be at 0.14 volts. Here's your right motor. This is the right motor and if you look at this panel right here you see I've got a probe set up up here on this top on this top pin and this is the IS point and this should be at 0.14 volts when I press play and we're gonna check it right now it's gonna jump but now it should start coming in and there we go we are right around 0.14 I'm not gonna sweat a couple hundredths of a volt we're in the ballpark I'm gonna let this go to adjust this one there is a pot right in this top hole you see it there and that's your adjustment you swing that up and down until you get to that right setting that's the IS now we're gonna look at the IT setting and for the IT setting you go down here you're gonna grab onto this guy right here and this one should be at 21 and it's at and in fact now it's dead on so we're gonna let that one be but that one if you needed to adjust it you go to this bottom hole here number two and there's a pot trim pot in there and that will adjust the voltage uh, at the IT point okay now we'll move on to the next test now this next test checks the capstan control circuitry now this one was way out of whack on my deck um, so to test this one you need an oscilloscope here's a basic oscilloscope this, these are available for about so 250 300 bucks I am not an expert at oscilloscopes I'm uh, what you would call an enthusiast or a hobbyist I bought this when I was rehabbing this old Macintosh not powered on at the moment and I've never really had a, a good chance to use it and the manual when it described putting an oscilloscope up on the uh, RS 1500 I said heck yeah I've got one let's let's try it so I was kind of excited to get to use one of these on a real project which is rehabbing this old 1500 and I figured it out mostly through YouTube and more YouTube and more YouTube what I can tell you about oscilloscopes in layman's terms is this is your voltage this is time I can adjust and take a longer look at a greater duration of time and things get kind of like all bunched together but as I shrink my period down of time I'm looking at I get a very accurate look at what the signal is doing this reading is your time up here and down here is your voltage scale and what the voltage tells you is how much one of these divisions measures each one of these divisions here is half a volt so one volt two volts three volts this is a three volt signal and I'm looking at it over time one channel goes into 907 and the other one goes into 902 902 is the one right next to it so I've got a probe on each of those test points now now this test needs the deck to be sitting at three and a half inches per second now I'm going to push play and you'll see these numbers jump a little bit you see that I don't know if you caught it this trace right here and this trace right here need to be aligned and on this sawtooth wave I gotta get I gotta be at 10 volts so to get to 10 volts, you've got three holes. One, two, three. Now number one here controls the amplitude of this sawtooth wave. So you go in here with a tweaker and you make your adjustment. 
and I've already got it set so I'm doing this after the fact and um, I've got 10 volts peak to peak this was way up this was way over voltage which means I've got too much power going to the capstan motor and then the other thing is the phase now that now the phase is adjusted on this second one and now when I move this phase adjustment with the tweaker right in there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this guy here slides left and right and I adjust that until it's dead in the middle I still have not addressed that variable resistor issue I'm probably gonna have to hit it from underneath this whole module slides away in one piece which is really a nice design to keep these components separate I think one of the first things I noticed is that this board appears to have been recapped I'm looking at these caps down here and that is anything but a stock cap job by Technics and these caps look new that's going to save me a lot of work. I'm also looking back here and I'm looking at some of these solders and those don't look like stock solders either. Look at the length on the uh, ends of the leads coming through the circuit board. That's good old somebody on a bench with a soldering iron. And that's actually a good thing I think because that means somebody cared for it. But these guys right here are our subjects of interest. We want to get some deoxid in these guys because they are noisy. And as I expected, the record side is just as bad as the playback side, as the output side. Okay, the deoxid process seems to have worked its magic. We're going to give you a little listen here. Can't do too much because of YouTube, but you know. That's the output pot. Sounds really clean. And here's the record end. So I'm going to call this part of the mission complete. And on to reassembly. Looking like a deck again. So the efforts have definitely paid off. We have an, a machine that is recording and playing. The pots are quiet when we move them. The uh, counter is dead silent now even if I go into fast forward mode I did uh, add a little extra grease in there lithium grease but all the switches are functioning noiselessly and I still want to adjust the meters and I want to adjust the input and output levels and the biasing on this deck but I need my test tape to get here and uh, I'll open it up again and we'll do that as stage three.